to develop range of motion in the, the quad, um, developing a longer quad muscle, we're going to use a quad stretch, um, and then to strengthen that mobility, we're going to use pales and rails isometric contractions. So to get into this position, I have these amazingly um, awesome little split squat rack attachments here. And I can't tell you what a great piece of equipment this is, by the way, here's my little sales pitch. Um, anyways, so you're gonna get your foot up on this or anything, a box, a couch, whatever kind of fits the bill, yoga blocks. Um, and then you're going to make sure that you are not so overstretched that you can't straighten up through your hip and be in hip extension. So if you are like this, you're too high with this foot. So this is the stretch. So you can hold this stretch position for one to three minutes, and then you're gonna do your pales contraction. So that pales effort is contracting the long tissues or resisting the stretch. So to do that, you're gonna push the foot down. We're gonna just, not just fire all the way, we're going to ramp up that effort. So you're gonna to start to generate tension and keep spiraling up. See if you can do that smoothly and evenly. And then you're gonna spread that contraction into your whole body so that it is a full body effort. Squeezing your fists, your stomach, your front leg, your face, your butt, whatever else you can think of. And keep ramping that pressure up. Push as hard as you can and hold for 10 seconds and then gradually relax. To do the rails contraction here, you're going to try to lift the foot up off of this. And spoiler alert, you may get a massive hamstring cramp. Um, if you do this really regularly, it will get better. But if you are someone who has short quads, this will very inevitably give you wicked hamstring cramps. Um, so anyways, try your best to do that and try to, try to ride the lightning with that cramp there. Um, and then put it back See if you can get a little bit deeper range. So you can do any number of things, kind of lift the foot up a little bit, trying to get uh, more of a stretch, try to pull forward a little bit more and shift back. Pull forward meaning tip the pelvis and then hold this deeper stretch for another one to three minutes. Um, if you're doing this as quad pails for a superset with your strength training exercises, you're just gonna get into this position, uh, get comfortable for about 10 seconds and then ramp up that pails effort, pushing down, hold for 10 seconds relax, go about your routine. Um, you may, if you want, do a couple of movements just to kind of uh, get that quad back before you go squat.